Today's adventure started with me meeting Norm at his house. And his wife was there, his daughter was there, his mother-in-law was there, and we ended up having a great time checking out some of the new stuff. <laughs> okay, babe. So oh, anyway, can I my car? Yeah, I'll step that way. See if you can take the left headlight out of Grandma's car. Yeah, that's for the first perfect. One. So this one here, hun. So you just pull the trigger once, one at a time. One at a time. Yep. So just like aim at the tree. I hold where I hold this. Place? You can hold up here, anywhere you're comfortable. You can hold right, the let's magazine. Let's see what I'm aiming at. Every time. Oh, like, oh. So let's just do this. <laughs> These are flip-up sights. <laughs> So you can look through this little people. Oh, okay. Can I hit the tree? No. <laughs> I don't even think you hit the woods behind it. You got <laughs> You gotta go full auto so you can okay. hit the tree. Then you just flip the switch here. That's and auto. And then just pull the trigger back and hold it. Okay. Yeah, just hold it back. Wait, 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 you're cheating. I just don't want to be near cars. <laughs> oh, that's probably a good thing. So just hold it. Pull it back and hold it. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I said, hey, look on my little front. Okay. <laughs> you want to play rough, huh? You okay. literally swept it back and <laughs> yeah. forth. Oh, oh. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Sorry, I used your... Oh, no, 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 honey, you kidding? That was so cool. <laughs> I got to use the right eye. Yeah, because she, she can't see. She's right-handed, but she has to use her left eye. Oh, oh nice. Was, the first time I did it, I was like, I can't see anything. And I was like, oh, my God, it's the wrong eye. <laughs> so anyway, the trigger pulls pretty heavy. So you just pull it back, and that'll be one uh, BB at a time. And then after you do that, we'll put it on full auto for you. That's the point. She so, should be with you. All right, here, huh? Can we just label this video full auto grandma? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I gotta. Pull it once. There you go. And then now, <laughs> you just hold it. Now, just pull the trigger back. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> That's awesome. These things are so much fun. Smile and makers. Uh, and they're so accurate. I was watching videos last night. 12 yards, 15 yards with a red dot scope. Literally putting all the BBs in one hole. It was crazy. So, <laughs> and for $140. Is that all that is? Yeah. You got to go back and get Keith one. Not normally, <laughs> but because of the... Yeah, because they the had show. 20% off at the show. They're normally one. 79. Plus we got an extra mag. No. Two, I bought. What did we get free when we bought one? Oh my God. They give you um, these boxes of, it works off of those two little CO2 cartridges. Right. So I think there's 12 in a box. I think you got 24 of those. We got 24 extra of those and, and two extra boxes of uh, 1,500 rounds of BBs in each box. I thought that you were going to hold him back. <laughs> oh no. Jesus. It seems <laughs> like yeah. they're the exact opposite. Yes. I couldn't help myself. Yes. Yeah, so it's just like, hey, sh should we get two? I'm like, oh, I don't, we haven't even shot him yet, hon. He's like, well, you know, our grandkids, our grandsons, I'm like, well, one of them is four months and the other one is 15 months. Well, that's why the stock's collapsible. Absolutely. I mean, this thing goes to six positions. Stock. The girls would like it. They'd be shooting, clinking cans. and. Or you could take the stock completely off, Keith, all the way out. There you go. You could have an adjustable stock with this one. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, well, The one New thing York. New York hasn't ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let New York see this. They'll be, you know, banding uh, BB guns next. Yeah. God forbid but, you tend to can. I mean, it's literally can. like an AR. Drop this magazine drops just like it. It cycles just like it. That's pretty awesome. It's got safety, single shot, fully auto, <laughs> flip up sights. That's nuts, man. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Really <laughs> That's <is>. really cool. <laughs>
knock down some of these pigeons for the farmer, and you're probably gonna see a whole bunch of them. Whole power shooting, right, buddy? Yeah, I can't wait, bud. Yeah, man. We took 10 steps from the car, and Norm points this one out. Has no idea who we are. Right in the head. Perfect. The only thing we got to do now is grab them. All right here, bud. that we just shot up there like I said he didn't just uh, he didn't move at all so that's as clean of a kill as you can get I suppose uh, no they're all they're singles okay but done straight done. down sweet Like uh, Harad would say, straight down. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to get an angle on one here to make sure we get wood behind it. They keep bouncing from one beam to another. I did find one I can get at. What's that, bud? I got one down there. Okay. Um. Ah, there you go. Oh, there he goes. And here's another two. So hard to get wood behind oh, the yeah. fish, son. So important that we get wood behind these birds, though, so we don't uh, blast through the aluminum roof. Here's that one we just dropped. Oh, yeah, there's one. Not nice a mark one. on them because low power oh, yeah. and yeah. whatnot, but uh, I'm not talking about an off switch. Oh, yeah. That one's just Frankenstein. Yeah. This one good wood behind it, so we're gonna go for a next shot and try and cut. Done. Down it goes. Good shot, bub. Thanks, buddy. After doing the first barn sweep, we made our way out into a courtyard and just hammered on sparrows. Done. Done. Nice shot, bud. A little barn sparrow at uh how far are you? That one was 43. 43 yards. There are a lot of, a lot of female English sparrows here right now. Uh, what? We got another customer. Hang on. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in on that one. To the right. Done. <laughs> Good shot. But look at the feathers Thanks. fluttering down. And there's, uh, there's more over here. 48 to the one. I don't know if you guys were able to see any of these birds getting smoked. I got it zoomed in as far as I can. That one, I didn't need the wind. Oh. Another one to the right of the, where those were, bud. Ah, oh, he's gone. Oh, there's still one there. See it? Yep. Oh, he saw it. <laughs> right I, think you saw, I think you saw it. <laughs> we, we have two up on this wire. A little sparrow, so I doubt I can zoom in close enough for you to see them. You might be able to see them fall. Uh, we'll definitely be able to see it from Keith's scope cam footage. If we can catch one going down. Oh, yeah. Done. <laughs> there right, he goes. Hey, the other one. Oh. No. So that was at 52 yards. Okay. Uh, so we needed 15 and a half MOA dial up. Wow. It's got plenty of power to take down that. Oh, my thing. God. That thing dropped stone dead. Yeah, that was stone. Lunch landing at the end. There's one more up where you just shot that one, bud. Oh, all right. Oh. It's gone. That's why females have a longer life expectancy. They're smarter. <laughs> hey. 
Done. There's still one there? Yep, to the left. Oh, I missed to the right. Oh. Done. <laughs> nice. Another one. Oh, I, yeah, another one just landed up there, bud. Done. Done. <laughs> like a shooting gallery. Oh, my God. So many barn sparrows for the... Oh, Think yeah. about all that going into the feed. Forget the losses of the feed, but think about all that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. We walk around the building and spot some pigeons on the silo at 120. I'm on low power, but we have the dope, and I decide to engage. Keith had to just dial 63 MOA up for a, what is this one? 120 yards. 120 yard shot on low power with light pellets. It's going to be pretty significant. Uh, the trap and, and we've got uh, some wind too, so we'll see. Let's see if I can get up here and zoom in and see if we can catch them dropping off the silo. You ready, bud? Yeah, we're good here. Go for two MOA on that one right there. No, I like that one better. Well, I hit the thing in between. Yep, you hit the pipe in between. Oh boy, look at those. I think they're hornets or something up there. I think I'm gonna back out of here real slow. A quick shift to the left and we wait a bit and right back they come. On low power, these the guys up on the silo are like freaking out, so uh, the pigeons. So we're gonna try and snipe some from a little further back. See what we can do. 100 yards. See if I can zoom in on that silo to see if we see any drop here. I didn't go for the one uh, almost all the way to the left. Okay. That wind picked up a lot. I feel it. Is it straight behind us? It feels something? like it's coming right up our back. From the right a little? Or? Yeah, maybe. Right. But not much. Dead. Done. Look at him go down. Yep, Good perfect. shot, bud. Tell you what, man. At 100 yards. Oops, hold on. What I do here? Oh, I try to zoom it in. Okay, go ahead. What was that? <laughs> I was just saying, uh, at 100 yards, to have a, a projectile going 570 feet per second to just stone them like that, you know, you got the absolute off switch. That was all spine. That's all the spine. Only way that happens. And uh, uh, what are you shooting? I'm shooting 25 grain JSBs out of my 600 millimeter crown on low. I have the hammer on max, but uh, the other dial on low, like we showed you at the beginning of the video, or I can't remember if we did actually, but um, so let's take a look quick. I've got the hammer spring at max still because I didn't want to change my tune. This gun's tuned perfect for slugs. And um, so I have my reg set at 160 bar. And now all I have to do is turn this valve down to low and I go from shooting these 25 grainers over a thousand feet per second down to under 600 feet per second. Uh, Norm and I spent a lot of time the other day getting dope on these low power projectiles all the way out to 130. That shot was at 100 and uh, as you saw, straight down. So we just decided that they're not coming back there for a while either. It's amazing how wary they get after a couple shots, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's yeah. like we reduced their numbers by six, seven hundred already or something. Yeah, they're uh, pretty smart, <laughs> I'll tell you. So we're going to go um, hide in the shade over there and take care of some of the English sparrows and starlings while we're waiting for those pigeons to come back. Right up top. 
And put it right in the off switch. Done. Done, done, done and done. Pretty good effectiveness, I gotta say. Happy, happy, happy. We are heading to get Keith's stepchild out <laughs> and start doing a maybe the a, beast. The beast. The, the 30, 30 cow. But first, we're gonna stop in and uh show you this um this bird that got whacked at a hundred and just spiraled right down off of that concrete silo. Now I shot another one at what was that, 47 I think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I see them both already. Stone dead. That guy there. And this guy here. I'd look. You got your shadow in my cup, man. Oh, sorry, buddy. That's my beautiful 100 yard. Well, that one might be the 100. I don't know. But, um. No, I think, uh. There's not much point to looking yeah, for a hole only on about no five, There's only about five feet apart, so. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Yeah, they're is. both just done. Done. Cat food. <laughs> We're walking up. I had to grab a drink, so I hand Norm the beast. And he says. What'd you say? I said, man, this is the longest I've ever had this gun in my hand <laughs> since we got it. I don't know why. It gets this feeling like I've adopted it or something. Yeah, now I have to call it, rather than son, I call it, uh, I'm his uncle. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. No. I'm a little bit disappointed because, um, as I went to get on the gun gleefully, Norm pointed out that I had knelt <laughs> in a huge pile of duty. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. It was hiding under there, I had no idea. <laughs> oh my God, that's nasty, dude. Well, no, there's, there's nothing to say. <laughs> okay. All right, we're at 156 yards, right off the top of this grain bin here. Uh, I'm gonna try. I think there's a slight wind from the right, and um, we also have to deal with a little bit of spin drift here. It's gonna be like three quarter MOA spin. So, and we also also have to deal with this pile of dung that yeah, he just kneeled in. It stinks so my bad. <laughs> leg right now. Okay, I saw it. It's actually getting pushed a little left. Dead. Done. Good that shot, bud. Absolutely crushed him. <laughs> it's funny, you know, like I start talking about spin drift and holding for that, and I forgot the fact that <laughs> the wind was coming from the right a little. That's the value of the, having young eyes. Yeah. You know, I got to see the pellet, make an adjustment. I know that my up and down is perfect because I shot this as much as I possibly could without more noticing the pellet pile <laughs> like this. So. But let me also share a little bit of this story. I was the first one on the gun here. Yeah. Um, and uh, because I was in Ohio at the Pyramid Cup and Keith was just blasting away having a good old time with the 30 cal. <laughs> and so he uh, actually let me jump on the rifle first to shoot at these pigeons out there. And he's feeding me dope. And wind calls. Is it gonna be this again? Are yeah. we going back to the Steve and the pet pigeon thing? And you know, I'm I'm missing, and I'm missing, but my old eyes, I can't see the pellet. So Keith says, "Hey, let me jump on there quick." He jumps on <laughs> his very first shot. He goes, "Oh, I see the pellet." His second one stones him at 156 yards. Yeah. So I'm just wondering. And that was a body shot too. I mean, he had his back to me. Yeah. Um. So and it centered him. So I, I'm happy it stoned him. But I mean, it stoned him. Well, 30 and cal, buddy. I know. I'm still getting used to that. Yeah. That's cool. And I don't know if you could hear it on the camera. Right. But it was loud when it hit him. Was it? Yeah. We got this tractor stuff That's behind us. That's why they're us. all gone, man. Yeah. <laughs> he got knocked and they said, nope. And I'm trying to avoid all this duty on my leg. Oh, my God, dude. What are you going to do? <laughs> Part of our pesting. <laughs> Hashtag farm life. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would love to show you the rest of this hunt, but the fact is, if I tried to upload another half this long, my computer would probably catch on fire. So catch us next week when we release the second half of this. You're not going to be disappointed. The beast comes out and does some serious work. Three, two. Done. Done, done.